Say that you don't have the addiction, but your loved one does or a close friend does, right? Will this, will this series help you help them? Yes, most definitely. Because at some level, you know, why are you attracted to a loved one that would have addiction? If you look back in your history of say relationships, right? At some point, you would probably understand or you'd probably find that, well, you attract addictive type personalities or some type of abusive type personalities for you. So as you listen to the program, right, and as you change that say pattern, and it might be very minute for you, but again, still a pattern, as you transform, as you shift, then it allows them to see you in a different light. And as they see you in a different light, they start to observe, it's like, gosh, you know what? Maybe I do have addictions. Maybe I do have patterns. Because you're not, you're not supporting them at some level, okay? That, that addicted person, whether it's abuse or addiction, they need some kind of support. They need some kind of feedback going that, hey, this pattern that I'm running is okay in this environment. But once you stop, say, feeding that environment, they go, hey, what the hell happened, right? I, and then that's when they start to realize that they actually have an addiction or like an abuse pattern running. It clears the atmosphere, go, yep, that pattern is mine. And then that's where they can get into the addiction series. I think one of the bigger and most important questions that people ask is that, you know, you know, my addicted loved one, whoever they might be, is like, they're not willing to, you know, sit down and listen. Sometimes they don't even uh, acknowledge that they're addicted to anything, right? Or abusive to anything. So what do you do there, right? You know that they have a problem, but they might not know that they have a problem. So with the XI uh, addiction series, as you engage in the program and as you listen to it, okay, you start to transform, you start to shift because at some level, you know, if your loved one has a, an addictive program, there's probably a propensity that's allowing them to have that pattern within you. So what that means is that as you change and as you listen to the program, then they have to force to change. The other aspect of it is that one, they might not be conscious enough to say, listen to the addiction program. They might not have the willpower to listen to the addiction program, right? They might be too consumed. So one of the best benefits of these addiction series is that, well, you can bring them into the series just by thinking them. I know that's out there, but from, from the research that we've done, from the transformations that we've had, one of the best, in fact, uh, uh, some of the most amazing transformations that we've had with XI is that uh, a parent, a mother who had severely uh, abusive and uh, uh, an addictive son, she brought him in to the normal 18 day meditations and radically transformed her son. So this is more powerful. This is more intense because it's focused in on addiction. So if you have a loved, loved one, that one is not willing to listen, who isn't capable of going through the series just because they don't have the willpower. This is the fantastic opportunity for you to step in and do something fantastic for them by stepping in and all you have to do is literally imagine them meditating, not next to you, but imagine them meditating in the series as you go through the process and they'll experience it as well. I know it sounds kind of strange, but people who've done it, they've gotten fantastic results. I know it sounds kind of strange, and I know it sounds really matrixy, but the physics behind it really goes back into quantum entanglement, right? You're entangled with that other individual. So as you say detangle yourself, they start to have to detangle themselves. And that's where, again, as you change, they get forced to change as well, right? So that's uh, the simple physics behind it.